Now that we've developed a working idea of the books in the Old Testament by grouping them, we can focus on the groups and begin to explore their content. In this video, we'll discuss the books of law. There are five books in this group attributed to Moses as the originator. Collectively, they're also known as the Pentateuch, a word derived from the Greek prefix penta, meaning five, and tuko, meaning book, vessel, or tool. They're also known as the books of Moses. These books are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Let's take a closer look at these books. Genesis begins with the account of creation and reveals the earliest interactions between man and God. It's a very powerful book that provides a foundation for everything that follows in the scriptures and is often the object of criticism. Some view the book as mythological due to the nature of the early events recorded, but as we'll see in later videos, even Christ treated the information in Genesis as factual. The book records an earlier dispensation known as the Patriarchal Period that we'll talk about in more detail in a later video. Exodus begins with the life of the Hebrews in Egyptian bondage and records how God chose Moses to deliver the children of Israel. Important events such as the first Passover are recorded here. Exodus includes commands and regulations to govern the people in their service to God, as well as details for construction of the tabernacle and items used in it. There are also instructions for the consecration of the priests, their garments, and service. The book ends with the tabernacle being set up and filled with the glory of God. Leviticus is an instruction manual for the priests, including a deeper discussion of the ceremonial and sacrificial elements of the law. Specific instructions for a number of subjects, including worship, trade, health, marriage, and other life areas, are given in detail. Numbers combines elements of history and the law. The book begins with the dedication of the tabernacle and the Hebrews' departure from Sinai as they set out for Canaan under the leadership of Moses. The events recorded in the book occur within the context of the spiritual leadership of the people and their relationship with God. When spies are sent to report on the land of Canaan, ten of them declare that they'll not be able to overcome the inhabitants. Only two of the spies, Joshua and Caleb, demonstrate their trust in God's word. The congregation responds negatively to the report of the ten spies, causing God to cause them to wander in the wilderness for 40 years until all those who were 20 or older died. Deuteronomy is sometimes referred to as the farewell address of Moses. Speaking to the children of Israel prior to his death, the book is a review of events leading up to their entrance into Canaan, a restatement of the law, and warnings to the people to remember God and be faithful. Prophetic statements in these warnings predict what will transpire if they rebel against God and forget His commands. In the next video, we'll look at the books of history.